adjust this camera so I can talk to everyone. So yeah, um, it's been about what I think a couple of months now since I um, I've been released, and um, I really. I'm not on social media because I'm just not that kind of guy. Like I believe that social media it's you know for a different type of uh, set of people, which I don't really belong to. Um, but the reason I decided to come out today is to really um, address like the situation that's going on right now with um, Princess Shingo. Um, I don't know if she's going to forgive me for this one, but um, I really just have to come and address certain things, right? Because it's been a while since her and I even spoke on the phone. Um, I think since we broke up, um, me and her really never talked. But yesterday, it was brought to my attention that um, unfortunately, her marriage didn't really work the way it was, um, you know, prayed for, right? Um, I think we all wanted her to really be happy, to um, find love. Um, me personally, that's what I really wanted for her because she she, she deserves it, right? Um, I mean, you guys bear with me because I'm really not like used to this whole social media thing, um, and I'm a, I'm a very shy person. Um, but in reality, Princess is probably the best woman any man could ever have, and I'm not saying this because. I'm trying to flatter her, um, or I, I'm i trying to throw roses at her. Um, I do believe that as every human being, she has a flaw. But it's sad for me when I sit down and I watch um, how she's being trolled and misjudged. based on um, the things that's, that's going on on social media, right? Um, the first thing I'm gonna address is a lot of people have told me that um, Princess have left me because I went to jail. That's what a lot of people um, assuming or probably thinking. Um, and this is, you know, really my first and my probably my last time that I'm gonna come here to address this. So I just want to want to make sure that it's, you know, clear and I clarify like all the things. Um, the reason why my relationship with Princess didn't work was a hundred percent my fault. And yes, we had a lot of misunderstanding, but. If I had not done the things that I've done, none of that would have, you know, occurred. She did everything she could to really hold me down. She was there for me. She went through things that I don't think a lot of women would put up with, you know. And this is very difficult for me to talk because I really never wanted to even come out and say anything about her. But um, the truth has to be said, right? Somebody has to come out and really tell the truth. Um, I don't know what her marriage was. I really don't want to talk about her marriage because I don't know the guy. I don't know the brother he was married to. But one thing I do know is that every guy that have ever dated that woman, I am 100% sure that there is nothing wrong that you can say about her when it comes to her being a loyal woman, a faithful woman, a supportive woman. 
And I'm talking about all the guys that she did, like that you guys know of, right? Um, it's sad because social media really have this perception of her that, you know, she's a bad woman, not wife material or anything like that. And I'm telling you guys, that is not princess. That is not princess. Don't get me wrong, she is crazy. Like, she is really crazy. But behind all that craziness, there is like a woman with a golden heart and that will go all out for a man. And I've, I've witnessed her done that for me, right? And I'm pretty sure she did that for whoever also, you know, um, she was with. Now, when the thing came out yesterday that her um, marriage didn't work, I receive a lot of calls, I receive a lot of text messages. Um, people saying, oh, you see what happened to her? It's because she left you and was with another guy and stuff like that. And that's not, that's not, that's not what happened. Princess never left me for another guy. Um, she left because she couldn't take anymore what I had put her through. She tried her best to a point where she couldn't take it no more. And I think she did what any smart woman would have done, which is walk away from a relationship that was unhealthy, that was full of lies and, and deception, um, dishonesty coming from me. Um, it is important that you guys also know that when I was incarcerated, she managed all like all kinds of effort to get me out. She wanted to like she hired lawyers. She she did everything. Like she she went all out, you know. And I was facing a lot of charges based on a lot of stupid things that I've done when I was um, young, and that caught up with me. And I'm not proud of it, but. You know, that's that's my past and I've dealt with it, right? Um, I paid my debt to society and now I'm back in bed stronger um, and I'm doing amazing. Um, but I just wanted to come out today and really give her her praise because I never had the chance to do that when I was with her. And then I was incarcerated and about the opportunity to really tell her that um, I appreciated everything. Sorry guys, um, oh Lydia, thank you, um, I'm not really, you know, trying to be like, uh, you know, um, I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not into that social media thing, I don't, I don't like being on social media at all, um, but there is a lot of people that, especially men, that we date a woman and throughout the relationship, we do a lot of wrong.